X's. Am I right? Hello everyone, my name is Hector. This is Everything Horror, where we like to talk about everything horror. And in today's video, we are going to talk about The Invisible Man. Now, The Invisible Man is based on the character from H.G. Wells. Uh, it's also a universal monster. And this is the new iteration of The Invisible Man. Now, in this iteration, we have Elizabeth Moss, who plays Cecilia. She escapes an abusive relationship, and her ex takes his own life. Now, he leaves his fortune to her after his death, um, but as time goes on, Cecilia suspects that he may not be dead. Now, The Invisible Man is directed by Lee Winnell. He was one of the twosome with James Wan. They created the Saw franchise together. Uh, they worked on uh, the Insidious films together. And uh, Lee Winnell went on to uh, make films like Insidious 3, Upgrade, and now this film. And I have to say... Lee Winnell is becoming a great director. He has become a master with suspense. This film is very well done. From the opening scene to the very end, this movie will have you at the edge of your seat. Not only that, this movie is filmed great. There are beautiful shots throughout the film. He creates this subtlety throughout the film. There are jump scares, but it's not booming music blasting through the speakers giving you a jump. It's actually things within the film that are giving you scares. I absolutely love that about this film. Elizabeth Moss. Oh my gosh, this woman is amazing. She is a terrific actor. You feel so much sympathy for her character. And as the film goes on, you're rooting for her to get through uh, this horrible nightmare. She is so good at playing unhinged. She successfully plays in that aspect of, you know, what would I do if... You know, I had a family member that was going through a situation like this. You know, what would it take for me to believe them? And I think that's a great question that this film, you know, raises. There are people that go through relationships like this, abusive relationships. They told the, the line very well of, you know, what some people would say, social justice warrior. I think they, they uh, played very well with offering an entertaining film, but also having this, you know, dark message that needs to be relayed. We also have Aldous Hodge, who is just absolutely great in this film as well. I always loved him since uh, uh, seeing him in Supernatural. He has some funny moments in this film and also some great serious moments. He definitely has great range. We also have Harriet Dyer, who plays uh, Elizabeth Moss's sister, Alice. Um, she's really great in the film. There's some parts where she seems a little wooden, but I think it may just be for the character. And then there's Oliver Jackson, who plays Adrian, the ex, the invisible man. To me, he was a little bit of the weak link. I wish there would have been a little bit more of Adrian and Cecilia's relationship. Just uh, a peephole, you know, into their lives a little bit more. He was a bit sinister, but a majority of the movie, you can't see him. <laughs> So the movie plays a lot on the fact of, is he there or isn't he there? The music was fantastic as well. They did this reverberating bass on scenes that made you feel uneasy. And it really helped with the suspense in the film. And then the violence. They did a great job on the effects as a whole. Uh, this movie has some very shocking moments. There's some moments that you're definitely not going to see coming. This movie did a great job on keeping you on your toes. And like I said... Lee Winnell has become a master of suspense. My negatives would be, you know, the character Adrian. Uh, I wish there was a little bit more of him, but it's very understandable. The man is invisible. But maybe a little peek into their lives before this all happened would have been great. There was a part in the film where I got a little bit confused with the timeline. Um, uh, they uh, do something to the effect of this happened at so-and-so time i was a little bit confused maybe i have to see the film again uh, more than likely that's that, that'll be why i had to see it again see if i just missed something 
But yeah, overall, this movie was really great. It was a good time. There were some heavy parts in the film. It starts off a little bit of a slow burn, but once it picks up, it picks up. My rating for The Invisible Man is 4.5 sharp drawing pins out of 5. I think you should definitely check it out. Anyways, you guys, have you seen The Invisible Man? What did you think of the film? Go ahead and comment below. Let me know what you thought of it. And if you could do me a favor, give this video a like and make sure to subscribe. Anyways, my name is Hector. This is Everything Horror. Take care, peeps.